Now, let's talk about a big one that everyone is going to be really concerned about. And I talk yeah. about it all the time to people. All right, banks, credit cards, debts. What are people to do in these times that things are tough? Oh. If they're not so sovereign right now, what can they do with Common Law to help themselves just... See, I love this them. topic because so many people get harassed by banks, by debit cards, by, I mean, by credit cards, oh, debt yeah. collectors. Three different subjects, so we'll kind of covered him separately so i'll cover the debt collector you can ask me that question next okay yeah. so let's we'll focus on the banks and credit cards so credit cards are an interesting beast because banks basically with their little fracture of their banking system can print the things out of nothing and just lend it to you and get interest for really not doing an awful lot I and mean, when they buy the money from from um basically from the international banks or whatever now essentially if you understand that let's just say that someone gets defaults on their credit card and can't meet their payments and they end up going broke or into insolvency or into needing a debt net repayment arrangement through a financial consulting thing, a counselling mm -hmm. service. Um, the average, um, this will shock you, but the average creditor in a bankruptcy, guess how much percentage, Jasmine, they get back on the debt, you know, if someone goes bankrupt? It's 3%. Really? Yeah, so that means if a bank is owed $10,000 and you go bankrupt, then they'll only get $300 on average. Often they'll get nil, but that's on average. They don't get much at all, and they wow. know that. So commercially, it's often much more profitable for them to get something than get nothing at all. Now, keep in mind, wow. they do have checks and balances to stop people trying it on them. So many people can't, can't used to come back to me and say, oh, it doesn't work. I said, yeah, you got to go through various kind of gatekeepers and the front people have no idea they do this. But if you get through to the right people, their hardship and their you know managers there, they're very aware of this kind of stuff. And I've never had a bank that wouldn't renegotiate a credit card if I pushed hard enough. So for a little while, I made some extra cash years ago doing that for people. I'd say to them, if I can cut your credit card down, let's say you owe 50,000 because people come to me, if I can get your credit card down and cut it in half, 25 grand off, would you pay me five grand? They said, you bet. I said, done, let's do it. I said, only paid on results and I'll do it for them. And I would general, generally what would happen is that you can generally get up to 45% relatively comfortably. I mean, some banks are very hard. There were a couple of banks that the 20, 25% often just got to accept that. The secret is you've got to come back to them with a deal where they see they're going to get paid faster. So it's kind of like, well, you can keep collecting from me for the next five years and you know, this is where I'm at and I'm going to, you know, look at it and so, you know, I, I, this is what I can pay you. No, that's not good enough. Well, you know, there's a process you've got to go through. But if you talk to the right people, yeah, I've regularly seen 45%, um, um, 30, 40%, 45% um, dropped off. In my own situation, I had a major finance company drop 45% off. They were the most difficult ones. And in the end, I went to a media advisor, told them what they were doing with me said it was very bad PR. He agreed for them and he immediately, we had a 40, it had an offer. I made an agreement to pay them back faster, gave them some priority, slashed my debt. You know, there's so much stuff you can do like that. Or even, even you can just simply serve a legal notice that forces them and ask me this question with a debt collector. I'll go into the procedure you can do with debt collectors because it also applies to banks other than negotiating a settlement. Wow. Okay. For the settlement option, you have to have some cash, like borrow from a family member or a friend. But let's say you owe 10 grand, you can probably get them down to five, six grand if you get get some cash, you know, or at least a lot quicker over a period of time short, you know. So ask me about debt collectors now. I will absolutely ask you about that. But with that, Warren, just one thing I've noticed, if people feel that they're starting to get in debt, are they better off speaking to someone earlier rather than later? Are they better yes. off to communicate straight away? Yes. The, wor yes, the worst thing to do is kind of sit there and bury your head in the sand and hope it doesn't yes. come, up, come up. You're better off to get on with it immediately. Plan for what's difficult while it's easy, you know?